What's going on, fam? I'm feeling extra happy today because I'm getting a workout with you all today. Today, we're getting ready to work out back and legs. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. Alright guys, this is where you at bro, and to kick off today's workout, we're starting off with Roman deadlift, and we're not supersetting nor tricetting for this movement. Now the next one, it'll be a tricep, but other than that, we're hitting the Roman deadlift, let's go ahead and go. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're back at it again with this Roman deadlift, <sighs> a couple cues, feet shoulder width apart, have your arms outside of your legs. And what you wanna do is, as much as possible, try to use your legs to bring the weight up. And then, so I'm going down now. Have a little arch in your back. Um, make sure you wear your supports. I have one on right now. Probably afterwards, I'll add a belt for my next set. But for my first one, I, I do have a back support that's on, that's under the sweater. All right, guys, so again, look forward. Find something high to kind of focus on back arch try to flex those quads and let's go ahead and rock it out without going too fast all right let's go <laughs> Fam, good job on hitting those Roman deadlifts. Now we're getting ready to move on to a superset. In the superset, we're doing alternating dumbbell lunges, and then we're doing after that calf presses on the leg press machine. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that now. All right, fam. So for dumbbell lunges, find a weight that's heavy but light enough for you to actually accomplish this correctly. So here, abs tight, and you want to lunge forward as far as possible getting your knee as close to the ground as possible without banging it to the ground because you don't want to damage your knee. So we're going to attempt that now. Here we go. guys with uh, calf press it's pretty much you know like anything else you're doing and what we want to make sure when we're doing this is when we flex the calves we're gonna go as far 
upward as you can, like flex the feet all the way out and bring it back in as much as possible. Um, just try to concentrate on getting a nice burn on um, in the calves, and that's why I put the number as far as reps to be 30. Because I know trying to do 10 to 15, you might not feel it there, but you, you do as many as you need. And if you hit 30 and you're still not feeling the burn, add more weight to it. Um, just uh, pace yourself when you're doing it. Don't just hit them as fast as you can, but slow the tempo down to try to get a nice burn in those calves area. Um, for me, calves are one area is where I lag in. You know, it's hard for me to grow those out just like my legs. So I'm trying to put extra emphasis on my legs area because I want those to grow as much as possible. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hit it. All right. guys so now we're moving on to a tricep in our tricep we're doing hack squat then we're following it with leg extension and to finish it off we're doing standing calf raises all right so let's go ahead and hit it fam i can sleep right here the entire time all right guys hack squats hack 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 squats all right for this one here you really have to um play with it to figure out where you uh, need to place your uh, feet. One thing you need to uh, keep in mind is when you're doing these, you do not want your knees to go over your toes. Um, if that happens, then you need to move your legs further away from your body. That way you're not um, causing the issue because you mess up your knees doing that and I don't want you to get injured. Next thing, keep your abs tight when you're doing this. Keep your core engaged through the movement. Um, press in. Press your back into the, uh, the machine itself and try to have your uh, feet uh, shoulder width apart, if not a little bit wider than that. Um, I uh, uh, tend to try to point my feet a little bit outward. Um, don't know why, it just feels better and I uh, also uh, feel it more in my quads. So I don't know the reason behind it. That's what I do. You could point them forward to each his own. Um, if you have the answer in, as to why uh, one is better than the other, or if it's uh, hitting more of a different part of the quads, then let me know. But other than that, this is how I'm doing it. Um, and I'm seeing definitely uh, some definitions uh, coming into my leg besides my legs growing. So with that being said, let's hit it.
All right, if you've been following me for any period of time, you already know that um, I prefer to do single leg because at, that's the only way that I know that each leg is actually putting in the effort to get big. I am not a fan of doing both legs, uh, only for that reason. Can you do both legs? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all, it really isn't. I just prefer to do single leg for the simple fact that uh, um, it allows for me to concentrate that one quad to uh, lift up the weight. But just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to do both legs at the same time and also to save time. So, uh, cues here, core tight, engage. Uh, make sure at the top of the movement you squeeze your quads, squeeze them up there, hold it for a second or two, and then slowly bring it down for a negative. Um, lifting it up, and the negatives are just as important, so make sure you hit those negatives, guys. Again, keep your mind focused on the quads getting bigger and stronger, and try to get the burn and the pump in those quads. So, I'm gonna attempt that now. Here we go. Uh, Half raises. Ugh. All right, so I decided to ha add on heavier weight while doing this. So I might keep this between 10 to 15 reps, but if I don't feel it, then I'm gonna add more. All right, so here, shorter width apart. Um, I, I don't think you really need to and, and engage your core, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's just a habit of me uh, to do it. Um, you're holding the bar, of course, with your hands, and you're going to try to uh, get to top of your press with your calves, which is like this, and then you're gonna slowly bring it back down. But we're not gonna stay there for too long. We're gonna just bring it right back up. So that's the goal. So when it goes down, shoot it right back up. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> Other than that, let's go. Good job, guys. We are almost done on our final two, our final superset for today. So what we're getting ready to do is Jefferson squats, and then we're gonna superset it with hip thrust. Hip thrust is a new one for us, so pay attention to what I'm doing. Also, guys, if you need more information in regards to how to do the movements or special cues that I give in regards to what helps me out, check the description out. Also, if you like the video, Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, leave a comment, and share this video with someone else. Other than that, let's go ahead and hit these last two moves.
All right, guys, we finished another workout. I'm a little winded there. That last super set really got to me. But if you haven't done so already, guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. Also, leave a comment down below and share the video with someone else. As always, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout.